My father was a woodcutter. Svalin. Victor Theodosin. That's not how you pronounce it, but that's as good as you're going to get out of me, I'm afraid. So, what have we got? A tank, field, defense. Field, defense. What does that mean? Well, that means this guy is particularly good at making your tanks take damage. For those of you who like to roll up on someone's base, this guy. Polar Shield. Grants their troop a shield coefficient of up to 1500 for 4 seconds if this officer is in a tank or a helicopter troop, the troop shield coefficient is increased by 25%. So if you put him in a tank or a helicopter, I don't know why you'd put him in a helicopter. <laughs> I suppose if you're lending the unit to an AG and you want it to survive, but that's more of a tactical issue rather than focusing on the fact about the skill. That's by the by. It's a 1500 coefficient. And it goes up by 25% if it's on one of those two. It, that's an exceptionally good skill. Um, there's only a handful of shield officers that we can compare him to. Um, so we've got Steel and Thorn. And just comparing the tactical ability, we will look at Thorn um, as a standard ability. Her tactical shield is just a flat 1500 so his his is 1500 plus a bit we like the we like the little bit extras and thorns is shield coefficient plus firepower so again we kind of like the little bit of extra we kind of like the little bit of extra um but it is only just a shield the other two officers, one provides a lesser shield but increased damage, the other one provides just a shield. However, when you eventually awaken that officer, it becomes the best shield, kind of, in the game. So, it, this one's kind of hard to score as a tactical ability, because on the one hand, <clears throat> it does what it says on the tin, and it gives a little bit extra, so I want to give it a four. But on the other hand, it leans closer towards steel, which would make it more of a three before it's awakened. Um, so I'm not really sure here. I don't like giving it decimals out of five. Um, it's a tough one. I'd say just on the basis of the other two shield options being available, this is probably a three out of five it's not a bad skill but you have other options available to you that do the same thing that meet the same requirement his second ability glacial haven increases the damage resist of this officer's tanks and helicopters by up to 20 percent just if he's just in a captain slot just as a skill that's probably a four because let's be honest, if you, this tank is at the front of your army or at the front of the AG and it's getting hit, you want that damage reduction. You can get the HP sources from elsewhere. So, th you know, that's that's a fair four. It doesn't do anything extra, so it's not going to get a five. But that's a, that's a fair four. <laughs> His next ability, of course, is Tenacious Spirit, which just increases the HP buff by up to 40%. Now, would it have been nicer if these two were together and you got 20% and then maybe something else on the side, like a skill damage resist? Maybe, but we have got 40% HP increase, and of course the shield coefficient is based off of the unit's HP stat. So again, that's just a nice, neat and tidy 4. <clears throat> Cold-hearted. This officer's troop deals up to 30% more normal attack damage. There's very few officers that go above 30% for its normal attack damage uh, off the top of my head. Um, we've got a firepower buff of up to 50% uh, and a damage buff of up to 25% and I believe I scored this one a 5. <clears throat> and that comes with a caveat that 
you need a critical strike in order to do it. This is going to be a five because of how high it goes. So we'll go on to his awakened ability, Frostbite. It's a passive skill. Whenever the HP of this officer's tank or helicopter troop drops below 20% in combat, it gains 50% damage resist for 10 seconds. If this officer is in a super heavy tank troop, this skill grants 30% damage resist. This skill can only be triggered once per battle. This is a good skill. And it's very specifically focused towards super heavy tanking or super heavy soaking. So you're using a super heavy. This guy's awakened. He's in the captain slot. I'd say this is a three out of five. And I'll give my reasons why. This isn't a bad skill, but it's not a great skill. This sits right in the middle of the road. This skill sits so in the middle of the road that it's it, you could overlook this skill quite easily. It's a passive skill. It doesn't boost his tactical ability, which normally, which normally, if we look at the previous uh, shield tanking officers, normally the awakened ability affects the tactical skill, the shield itself, making it a better shield. And I feel like that's what this probably should have done, is affected the shield somehow. Um... It's not bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Fifty percent damage resist is fantastic. I'd ha I'll take that all day. The downside of that is it's triggered once per battle, and you have to be below twenty percent. And there's a few officers out there that do kill shot damage or execution damage. When you re get reduced to a certain percentage, they increase their damage output. Um. And I, I suspect this is designed specifically to counter that. But the problem is, is it only lasts for 10 seconds. You know, you could have Thorn and Spanner. And you'd gain health back. And you would have a shield. You're still getting a shield with him. I don't know. I don't really like this, but I don't hate it either. This is this is so very specific. The only time I can really consider this being amazing is if you are attacking another person's base and it's easy to reset, and it's easy to reinforce the super heavy. Other than that, if you're out in the field and you're field fighting, this is kind of bad. It's it's so good at one thing and it's so bad at another. It doesn't lean you either way. This is just a 3 out of 5, which is really, really not that... I mean, he, he just sits in the middle of the road. And for an SH as well, you would want your SH dedicated officer to be amazing, blow your socks off. But he just scores pretty low, to be fair. Well, I say fairly low it's not that low he's middle of the board and his score reflects it he's a 3.8 out of 5 he's just above the halfway point <laughs> like you know if he scored a two and a half i wouldn't be surprised but we've got like we've got a 3.8 you know this isn't a bad officer this is a pretty good officer it's not a it's not above a four but it's above a three i wouldn't be mad if he was in my lineup but if he was in my lineup, I'd need him to do a specific job. And that specific job is to drive a SH into an enemy base to get attacked. Anything else? This guy's a waste. Sorry. You can't use him in the field. You can't use him in base defense like the other shield officers. He is just a one-trick pony. He will stop your SH from dying against a base. That's it. Not a terrible officer, but a 3.8 out of 5.